Hello everybody, welcome back to the Spatials. This is my Let's Play video number two of the Spatials, where we're going to go ahead and continue the game we left off last in uh, Let's Play number one. We just barely got started and uh, have a lot more to do in this game. So we're going to go ahead, I did save the game, we're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off uh, this morning when I played, and we'll go ahead and start this right after. All right, welcome back, everybody. All right, we can see we still have our five guys in our base. Remember, we do have three guys that we hired just for uh, the uh, embassy so that we could actually decrease the amount of time it took for us to gather resources of these planets we've conquered, uh, such as Cycle here. Uh, resources, we are gathering all this H2O and three every two minutes. It started off at 12 minutes, but because we have people in our embassy right here, uh, these guys are working to make that exploitation period uh, two minutes instead of just 12. So I just hired these guys right out of here out of the recruits. Let's go ahead and hire some more guys here, though, uh, and get those hired. We are running out of money, so we're going to have to, at some point soon, we're going to have to get uh, some uh, visitors coming in and visit our spaceship station and uh, making money. But the first thing we want to do here is we want to go ahead and... Let's take a look here. Spaceports, we're going to be able to start getting those people in. We are going to want to go ahead and build a mineral ore processing. That sounds like something we might want here soon. Never mind. Nope. Let me blow that up. Let's go ahead and branch off here. And let's go ahead and make one of these little rooms for a smelter. I don't know how big we need these rooms, so we're just going to work on this slowly but surely. Yeah, I love this game. This game is so awesome. Uh, I'm really having a, a lot of fun with this game. Pleasant surprise, as many games come out on Steam nowadays, and as many of them are, you know, there's a lot of games that are good. There's a lot of games that are, you know, decent. There's also a lot of trash that comes out on Steam, you know, games that aren't worth the money or that are rip-offs or early access, uh, you know, incomplete messes, whatever. This game is one of the rare games that just feels right in every way. It... It has, it's really simple, but it's really deep and complex at the same time. Just a perfect balance. Love how all these guys come and work and get these rooms built as you build. Uh, okay, we are going to build a smelter in here. As soon as they get this everything built here. I guess that's good. Heavy metal production may contain traces of 80s hair. That's kind of funny. Now, here, this is a workshop, chemical workshop, but I don't believe, yeah, we have the wrong kind of floor. We have to have this kind of floor for this shop. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and expand off this room and make our little chemical room. So let's just go ahead and take another corridor here. And then we will go and get this guy, get this room here. And I guess we'll go ahead and make it the same size of room. I think that's the same size, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four by four. Four by four. Okay, so I don't need all these. Okay. Fact, let's go ahead and destroy these. I think it's. Let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I had it right the first time. Okay. Let's 
push that wall back. I do kind of wish you could rotate the camera. That would be kind of useful, but I guess it's not completely necessary. Okay, I don't really know what we need all this stuff for, but we're going to go ahead and put it in just because we can. Now, it says here that we don't... This means we don't have the resources, I believe. Uh, progress, build chemical workshop. Okay, what about this one? Over here, metal press. None of the products manufactured here have been unlocked yet. Unlock more nodes in the tech tree. Okay. So I can go ahead and click this and say open to everybody. So anybody can use this though. And same thing here, I think. Open to everybody. But I need to open up this stuff and none of the products manufactured have been unlocked yet. Let's go ahead and go back to this tech tree and see. Uh, this might be what we want. But you know what? Before I build all the service parts and stuff like that, I want to go ahead and get a place where I can eat going because I know the guys that I have at level three are going to be hungry. So they are going to restart requiring food. So we're going to go ahead and lock this one with our two research points that we have. And now we have all this stuff opened up so we can make all this stuff. So let's go ahead and go back home and let's go ahead and make a kitchen. And let's go ahead and put the kitchen... Hmm. Let's branch off here and put in a kitchen. Let's see, right here. Yep. Let's go ahead and put in a kitchen right here. Make it kind of a pretty big area here. In fact, I'll even go ahead and expand it this way a little bit. Somebody sleep in there. Awesome. And you guys might be wondering why I'm building these rooms so big when I don't need them this big. I'm just doing it now so that I don't end up having to make more rooms later on. Like, you know, for example, if I put all this stuff smaller rooms and then I had a, a living area here that was only big enough for four or five beds. Well, then as I get more people and visitors and stuff like that, then I end up having to make, you know, another visitor room or another living room and another living room. Just trying to make it all big enough so that it can house everything that I need, at least for a while, in one room. I don't know if it's smart or not. Like I say, I'm kind of running out of money here, but... If I always... If I need more money, I can always take my guys out and start, you know... Uh, conquering other planets in the universe and sh stretching out to other universes and conquering planets to uh, gain money. Which I may have to do pretty soon here. <clears throat> I like that tile, that texture for the floor. That's really cool. I mean, it looks like stuff you'd expect. Chemicals, and this is, you know, manufacturing, and this is, that looks like a kitchen floor. This looks like a, you know, living floor. Uh, pretty nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead, and here we are going to put in, this is a basic kitchen. Cooks cheap food. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put one of these over here, I guess. Turn it. You know what? I'm going to back that up. I'm going to hit escape on that. Because I have now a lunch table. Uh, consume food for restoring. Okay, so this is where I want... I, I need to have a diner area here. So this won't work for that. Okay. So cooks cheap food. Well, let's go ahead and... Let's just put a thing right here. Cost 300. We'll go ahead and start with just a couple of those. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and put in a quarter here. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a large cafeteria. And we might run out of money here just building this thing. 
but right here. And it's going to go from our kitchen to this main room here. So we're just going to have this thing go something like this. Oops. Maybe even bigger than that. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and run another corridor from our kitchen to this area. And maybe even put another one right there. I am just kind of clicking the wall there, but you can kind of see that I got something going on with a little shield there behind the wall. There we go. Okay, I need another one, I guess. And then another one behind here. There we go. Excellent. I like that. Yeah, we're definitely running out of money here. Bunch of busy bumblebees. And I think I read that these guys can level up just by building and stuff like that too. So you don't actually have to just be out killing monsters on other planets to level up. They can actually level up just by building your base and, and other things. So over here, we see we cannot build basic food because why? Uh, open to everybody. Was that why not? Pick a production recipe to start production. Oh, okay. So let's just go ahead and start off with rations. Needs more seeds is required. And then we'll make this one be open everybody. And then we'll also make this one be juice. So we'll just start off with rations and juice. Need more fruits. Okay. So we are going to have to go out and get. So here in the cafe though, I want to go ahead and put lunch tables, consumable food for restoring morale, refreshments counter uh, for drinks and desserts. And then table and divider are simply decorative. They won't even be used. But let's go ahead and put in a lunch table here. And maybe turn this around this way. Another lunch table. Click. And then we'll go ahead and put in a couple of refreshments over here. I think that's right. Okay. You notice once they get it built, that's when $150 comes out. Now if we want to, we can go ahead and put in you know, some tables here. But again, this is just decorative stuff. But hey, it looks nice, right? Okay. I don't even know if they sit down. I don't even think they do sit down ever uh, at these things, but... Yeah, we're running out of money now. Building all this decorative stuff and getting everything going. So we know we need more fruits and we need more... Um, seeds so we need to go out and start exploring planets to see if we can start getting some of the stuff we need tells you what you need right over these things so let's go back out into space we need more money anyway so seeds and that's not it that's bugs and slime okay uh what does this have that's not fruits or anything. Yeah, that's seeds and slime. We've already looked at that one. Well, let's go ahead and conquer this one. Maybe we can get out of this universe and start. Uh, I'll get 59 water. We need these research points, too, so we can learn how to build even more stuff. All right, now straight to the secret of hospital is asking for our help. They won't mention anything about what the problem is or why they need us. Talk to the administrator. So this one, instead of trying to blow people up, we are actually needing to talk to an administrator, and it shows us the arrow there that she's over this way, or he's over that way. Yeah, see, I can't even blow these guys up. Okay. It's gonna be some kind of different mission here than what we've done before. Doctor, Dean of Medicine, good morning, officers. I'm glad you're here. Good morning. Your message had very little information about what it is you're going on here. Would you please explain what are the activity what are the activities of your hospital? The doctor says, yes. 
You see, we must work with the most obsolete discre discretion. We, we are the most advanced facility in the galaxy for the treatment of paper cuts. <laughs> oh, wow. See what I mean? This game adds a sense of humor and everything. So this whole facility, all these beds and everything to treat paper cuts. Are you serious? That's what we say to him. Absolutely, paper cuts can lead to life-threatening complications. If they are not healed properly, our clients are wealthy individuals from all over the galaxy who are willing to pay top credits for the most advanced medical facilities for curing paper cuts. Yes, this has to be a prank of some sort. Officers, it's a very serious matter. You will soon, you will see soon why. Some of our patients have contracted Ferocia digilis, a very rare finger brain disease. They have become completely deranged as a result. We are a hospital, not an asylum, so we lack the facilities to take care of them. Finger brain disease? Is this really happening? Go to the room indicated by the coordinates and see for yourself. Try to pacify them, please. So now we get to go talk to a patient. <laughs> Alright. So what I mean, this game is just this game is just awesome. It's got a sense of humor, uh, it's creative. These developers, it's two brothers in Barcelona, Spain that made this. They are just, you know, they're witty, they're they're funny, they're uh, creative. Patient, insane in the membrane. It is perfect, perfect. The reflection, the beauty, it glows. What is so beautiful? The pearl of the conscience, the flow of the identity, infinite. Talk to the patient, talk to another patient over here. This guy. Come on, guys. Where are you going? Uh, two, six, four, three, three, eight, three, two, seven, nine. Hello? Two, nine, five, six, zero, five, nine, five, six. Okay. Talk to this guy. I have it. I have it. I won't give it up. It's mine. Mine. I am becoming it. I, I will. I will. Careful, officers. Uh-oh. So they turned into an alien. So now we get to actually do our usual stuff. All right. So we killed him. Talk to the administrator again. Okay. I have a feeling everybody in here is going to talk turn into a monster in a minute. Some things cannot be unseen. Oh my. Thank you and be careful when you handle paper. Okay. Uh, leave planet. So we completed the mission. That's all we needed to do. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave. System Sayers has been unlocked. Make sure to gear up your officers before attempting new challenges. Okay, so this is just your important messages and stuff like that. So it tells you every time I've recruited somebody, uh, it tells you important messages. So basically what it's saying is that now we can go back from here and we've now unlocked this system here, this universe. So again, we got different planets on here, a different kind of moon. Notice how the moon looks different than uh, our central moon here that we started with there, that pink swirling thing. Uh, so it's completely different, completely different planets. Let's see if there isn't a seeds. Does this one have seeds as a resource? It does, just one though. Let's see, we really need seeds and, and what else? We need seeds and something else. Most of these plants have slime and crap on them. Uh, we already looked at that one. Not that one. That one, no. Look at this one? Yeah. This one, the one you conquer. Has fruit. One, anyway. Not that many, but at least one. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to go and conquer this planet here, and we need to conquer... Uh, which planet was it? This one? No. Man, was it this one? Yeah, seeds. Even though there's only one seed, well, this one has one seed and one fruit on it. You know what? We also need to go in and, and uh, get an embassy going here, because these are vain, it takes 12 minutes to get this stuff, even if we conquer that planet, so we need to go ahead and hire some more recruits. We'll go ahead and hire these guys. We don't have much money left. Go back to the embassy, click vacant. We will go ahead and put... Uh, where do the guys go that I just hired? Uh, I'll assign. Wait a minute. 
You know what let's do? Let's just go ahead and conquer this one planet we need with both seeds and fruit on it. Let's go ahead and try to conquer it anyway. And then we'll just put three of these guys in for our uh, embassy if we conquer it in the solar system so we can start getting some fruit and seeds come in. Yeah, these guys are definitely more difficult. Okay, quick meds. Now we got meds and everything going on for something we loot. Okay. Got more of a labyrinth here. It's not quite so open. It's kind of more closed off and you kind of got to search through more of a maze type thing here. I know what this is. Okay, go ahead and get us some energy going here. Eliminate six pirates. These guys are easy enough. Yeah. Now eliminate the colonel, which just spawned right here. Okay, didn't even need that. Mission completed. Leave the planet. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Leave. Yeah, let's go ahead and assign some of our guys that we have here, I guess, to... Uh, I don't want to give them our doctor. I'll give them a diplomat. Sign. Give them a strategist. Sign. And a scientist. Sure. Now again, we've reduced this down from 12 minutes down to 2 minutes. So now let's go ahead and go back to our planet that we just conquered here. And that was right here. Go to our resources and start grabbing some of this stuff we know we're gonna need. So 25 for fruits, one per period. We wanna get more than that though. And so, oh, we, can, we, we can't get more than one per thing because there's only one here. What you can do is you can complete this mission on a higher difficulty now that we've completed level one uh, for higher resource multipliers. So let's do that. Click on the blinking resources to buy exploitation rights. Okay, so that's what we—that's what it's talking about. To buy the rights, we've already bought the rights for our seeds and the fruit. That's what we need mostly right now. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and get this water as well. So it doesn't matter if it's the same resource or not. Each one gets to be more and more expensive, as you can see. All right, I just know that water is something we definitely need. So, what is this anyway? I don't even know what that is. That is, what is that? I don't know, that's oil or something, I don't know what it is. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this mission again, and do it on hard now. See if we can do it on hard anyway. So we can get a multiplier there. Oh wow, much, much harder. And I, I forgot, I've put three of my guys in for... Uh, I put three of my guys in for the embassy in this planet, so I'm probably not going to do this. Heal, heal, heal. Heal. I don't have my grenade or anything. Yeah, this guy doesn't even have a gun. Alright, I want a bell on this one. Leave. Everyone's not able to continue exploring. It's better, uh, find better loot in easier places and equip them the next try. Okay, that's fine. What we'll do is we're going to go ahead and uh, go home. And now we're going to go back. And Okay, so what we need to do now is replace the uh, seats that we actually set in the embassy here uh, with three of our guys that we had on adventure. We need to replace those with guys left back at home. These some of these guys that we hired. So what we need to do is come in here, just click available seat. And it will tell you that I need a strategist. I can hire either one of these that I have back at home. I will just take her. 
And then here, this needs to be a diplomat. We'll go ahead and hire Andera here. And then here, uh, we'll just go ahead and take Bobby Klein, sign him. Now we've got us a mission, a uh, group of five guys. So let's go ahead and, again, we're gonna try this on level two difficulty with three noobs here. Barely keeping us alive with this guy here. Two. Not oh, still in slow down. Finally. Alright, now eliminate the sarge. Go ahead and get another health thing going here. Get some energy back. Another health. All I'm doing is sitting here clicking on this guy and then spamming my health button as fast as I can. I already lost one guy here. We got this guy almost beat though. Okay, so we did beat that guy. Now we just need to go over here and conquer these pirates. Oh no. Still in cooldown, still in cooldown, come on. Oh, my grenade's gone. Help, run. This guy's almost dead. Now I just need to get rid of this colonel. Close to dying here. That's my third guy. Come on, we got this. So close, come on. All right, we did conquer it, thank God. All right, so go ahead and leave this planet now before you do get killed. 
Now I want to go ahead and take a look at that. Now see we're getting two of each one. And six of these, so basically double. So now, if we wanted to, we could come back here and go WTF hard. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go back home for now. We did earn a little bit of money there, though, so that's good. We need to get our guys healed that we're all uh, in stasis. So now we actually got some power-ups that we actually found. So she found a better pistol, a zapper that we can use. Uh, 12 power, set of 2 power, yeah, I'll definitely take that. And 293 max health is at 144. Absolutely, I'll take that one. Okay. Okay. These guys are over here getting food and drink. Are making food and drink they're making food and drink and as you can see they're using our seeds and our water and stuff like that to go ahead and make some rations so let's go ahead here in our uh, kitchen here and let's go ahead and make um, that's not our kitchen where's our kitchen at here no that's a metal press no that's the it's the warehouse. It's right here. Kitchen. Okay, so we need to go ahead and put a couple of more of these things in here. And we'll make this one be a... I don't know if that's turned around. So if, if it's turned wrong once they build it, you can actually fix it just by clicking on it and then turning it just like this. So... So now we want to go ahead and pick. We already have one making rations. Now we'll let's go ahead and make one making pizza. This guy will be pizza. And then we'll open this to everybody. And then we'll also go ahead and go in here and make another one. And we will rotate it. And then once I get this made, we'll go have this make a, be a dessert place. Okay, this is dessert, open to everybody, sign. So it shows you that Andrea Corncino is making dessert. And we should have dessert come down here. We have 12 rations, we have a couple of pizzas already, 20 uh, fruit drinks, and <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and have some dessert being made here as well. There we go. There we go. Our first desserts are down in my taskbar now. Now, as these people eat this dessert, it will disappear uh, from our taskbar. And see, this guy would come over here to get either pizza or rations, and come over here to eat, get either dessert or drink. So these guys are getting stocked up on the food now and everything like that. We are going to have to go out and adventuring uh, and start getting some more resources and like that and start upgrading our guys and start taking over more planets and exploring more of this universe uh, and galaxy and start getting some of this other stuff opened up. We are going to do that and try to get out of this first sector in the next video, uh, the next Let's Play video on this. Uh, let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see in this game. If you have any questions, whatever it is, let me know if this video has helped you decide on purchasing this game. I would recommend this game all day long. Uh, this might be one of the best Steam games I've ever got. So it is that good, and at its price point, $10 right now. Uh, I think $12.99 regular price. Right now you can get it for under $10 bucks during the first week. So, uh, yeah, absolute phenomenal game, especially for the price. Let me know what you guys think, though. Are you enjoying the video? If so, you know, definitely comment below and give me a thumbs up. I would certainly appreciate that. And uh, let me know what else you guys want to see in this. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Zaxter99. We'll see you in the next one.